everybody it's Jess and welcome to simply me simply gorgeous and so this is week two my week two update of this hair um you're gonna see me cutting it um I had something else in mind and I kind of totally went left so I cut it way more than I thought I was gonna cut it and all that stuff so this is shorter than I want it to be but it's okay because it's coming out after work um, today so basically um, you're gonna see clips I don't think I'm gonna put the whole entire video in here because that just might be a little too much but I will show you guys how I cut it or whatever and I just put a headband on kind of did a little side bang in the video you might see I don't know how I'm gonna piece it together but like I said it was a little shorter than I wanted to but it's gonna work and I'm only gonna do it for a day and it's starting to grow on me it wasn't growing on me at first like I was just like I just fucked up <laughs> anyway um I've had this hair for two weeks um I put it in on a Friday two weeks ago Happy St. Patrick's Day, in case you can't tell that this is green. I don't know how this lightning is going to be. I don't know. But I just wanted to come and be real with y'all. Um, do I like this hair? Eh, it's okay. Um, would I put it back in my hair? No. I might make a crochet wig, you know, with this hair and just take it on and off or whatever. Like, cutting it or going into it and working with it, I can tell that this side of my hair is not as bad as this side is. This side um, tangled a little bit more and is a little bit more frizzy, but this is the side I always go to sleep on. I'm always asleep on this side of my head. And even though I wore a bonnet, all that stuff, it's just, I guess, the, the texture of the hair. I don't know. Um, I haven't seen, I've seen a lot of people put up videos about this hair, but I haven't seen anybody really update about how this hair is holding up or come on camera and do one. So, you know, I, I'm y'all girl, like, I'm just, I'm going to keep it real with y'all about how I feel about this hair. It's okay. It's going to frizz up. It's going to mat. It's going to do all that. Um, I don't know how it's going to do if it's just left in its original state if you guys haven't seen any other videos before this video I will link up in the top and put down in the description box links to my previous videos for you guys to check out um, I do have thin fine hair if you guys cannot tell already or, or don't already know um, so I have to split track like or not split track I have to split the hair um, I can't I, I love my hair and I'm not going to install some hair into my head that I think will compromise me losing my own hair. Hold on. About that maintenance came. They won't BJ up, so let me hurry up. Um but yeah, I'm not putting any hair into my hair that's gonna compromise my actual hair and break it off. So I'm sorry if that doesn't equate with some of you guys who have thicker hair. What? Hold on. Yeah, I'm sorry if that's not a good thing for some of you guys who have thicker hair and you're looking for videos and that sort of thing. Like I try to accommodate all naturals, all people who come to my channel. Um, but I just have to do some things that are, you know, good for my hair texture and preserve my actual growth. I'm not trying to get any more breakage and stuff like that. So, um breakage ball spots I, I learned the hard way so I'm trying to you know keep the goodness going on over here but this hair I like the curl I like the fullness like I said I don't really I'm not really digging this short hair like the shortcut on me but it's all right it'll, it'll do I'm only gonna rock it for a day anyway um so yeah, it is going to mat up. Back in here, mats up a lot. Uh, for the most part, how you see me wearing this hair has been how I wore it the entire two weeks. So if I'm at home, I have a bonnet on. I'm not taking a bonnet off. I'm not laying my head down all over the place. Like I've been really keeping up with the maintenance of this hair because it's high maintenance. Um... So, I don't lay down on it. If I do lay down, I get right back up, put a bonnet on. Um, 
as far as cutting, I didn't cut it at all until today. Like, I might have trimmed a little bit, got some little knickknacks, but I didn't cut it until today. Um, I have not sprayed it with water or put mousse on it. I've only done that, like, once a week. So, this was the second time, or technically the third time that I did it. I did it the first time I installed. I did it my one week, and then I did it again this week. Um, I try not to mess with it a lot, fluffing it out, moving it around, all that stuff is going to give you what you got going on over here. The frizzing, the looks like it's like clumping up, that sort of thing. So what I try to do was I take it out, shake my head around, and do this. Fluff up the top, leave the bottom alone. Because the bottom is the one that rubs against your shoulders, your shirts, and all that stuff. And then that really clumped together. If you see in the video, I had to take the hair apart and move it around. Because it was clumped together. And then you had to see, I had to cut a lot off the bottom because of all the frizzing, rubbing against shirts, all that stuff. Now, I don't know if when it's still in this regular curl or, you know, the... The, the thickness without separating it. I don't know if that may mat up that much or whatever. I don't know because I, I, I didn't install it that way. Like I might get it and then put it on as a crochet wig and then wear it like I'm doing like my regular crochets without taking it off and see how it is. But I, you know, I don't know. But that's also another thing because it's like, how is that really going to work? What part in this stuff? I don't know. I gotta see some things. I, I'll let y'all know. But as far as how it worked with this style, it mats up a lot at the bottom. Um, it frizzes up a lot. You mess with it. You do any manipulation, frizz. Um, trying to separate or get it to separate apart. Now, as far as the curl payoff, it's you know, the, this curls are. Okay, these curls <laughs> are staying together. They're they're well together for two weeks. It's still curly. It's not straight. Um, you know, so there's that. You know, I'm not upset about the curl payoff. I I'm not even upset about the frizzing, the matting. You know, it's fifteen dollars here. Like what I, I I feel like I didn't got my fifteen dollars worth. If I wear it for two weeks, you know. Now, for those of you who like to wear crochet braids for three or four weeks, I don't know. I, I I don't know. But for me, I only wear crochet braids for like two to three weeks. And um, I, I, I'm not going to take this down to show you, but my, or I'll, I'll just move this. My hair is growing. It's, my hair gets, uh, my hair grows fairly nicely and braids, like cornrows and that sort of thing. And it's to the point now where I know that if I keep this in, it's going to be a lot of tension on my hair. Because I can clearly lift up the back and feel like my braid has a, a significant amount of growth. So I just need to go ahead and take it out. Um, I'm trying to think. Yeah. Because um, I don't want to go into a whole in-depth of fine natural hair and what you should be doing for thin natural fine hair i want to do that but i'm putting in a separate video i think i did it before but i want to hit on some key points so i'm gonna put that in a separate video oh no i heard something okay so um what was i gonna say so yeah i if i had to give this hair a rating on five stars, five being the best, one being the worst, it's about a three. It's about right there in the middle. It's not super t terrible, terrible, but it's not super perfect either. Low maintenance, it is not. It is high maintenance hair. I will say it a thousand times until it gets registered. This is high maintenance hair, which means no sleeping on it without a bonnet. No doing all that crazy stuff. High maintenance hair. Um, it will frizz. It will mat up. If you are used to taking your hair, fluffing it, messing with it, please be aware that it's going to frizz up even more. And it's going to mat up even more. This is kind of hair that you kind of have to leave it alone. You can fluff up here where your hair isn't rubbing against stuff. 
but leave now you're alone um and i think that's pretty much like the key basis of this hair i love the hair color it's a pretty hair color i mean i get tons of compliments on the hair color i've got even people thinking that this might be my own hair you know but um Mommy? yes baby mm -hmm. have i hit all the points for you guys i think i have um if y'all have any questions you want to know anything feel free to leave a comment i hey 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 no Oh, teeth. Huh? Brush your teeth. Okay. Um, feel free to leave a comment. I respond to all comments. If you have questions, I'll answer them to the best of my knowledge. You know, I try to keep it real with y'all. You know, I spent my money on this. I did not get sponsored to, to do this hair. I'm not getting paid by Zuri to put this in and make these videos, you know. But I'm going to give you the reals how I really feel about it um I don't know what I'm gonna be doing next with my hair but I'm gonna leave it out for a minute hey I'm gonna leave it out for a minute um show you guys some updates and stuff like that before I put it into another protective style which will probably be next week next Friday I have a wedding and I don't like doing my natural hair for weddings and all that stuff so if I feel like it I might if I don't Please believe I'm gonna put some kind of crochet braids or something in my head. Um, <laughs> if you have not already, please like this video, talk to me down in the comments below, and subscribe to my channel for more hair videos. What, baby? Okay, for more hair videos, protective styles, reviews, all that good stuff. So, yeah. Until next time, you guys. Bye.